as we go through this meditation for healing limiting beliefs and false beliefs I want you to give yourself the freedom to let that part inside of your mind that knows how to access your creative imagination to come to the surface taking a moment now and bringing your attention to your breathing with every breath relaxing releasing and letting go letting all of those thoughts of your day come on in and drift on by like a bird or a cloud in the sky drifting further and further with every breath letting all of that weight and worry that you've been carrying on your shoulders melt away more and more with every breath relaxing releasing and letting go and now imagine yourself in your most perfect place a place where you can allow that creative imagination to run wild and in that place is where we'll begin your journey today to healing those false beliefs and programs that no longer fit your truth so imagine yourself in that most perfect place whether you would be indoors or outdoors daytime or nighttime and in that most perfect place I want you now to imagine yourself as we go through this story letting that part inside of your mind that knows what's right for you guide you on the journey that is right for you and that might mean that you follow along with me or that might mean that that wonderful part inside of your mind that knows what's best for you might take you on a completely different journey whatever journey you go on understand that that is the right journey for you so imagine yourself now as if you were in a room beneath the stairs like Harry Potter and imagine just like Harry Potter beginning life in a school just like everybody else this school would be a school of lack a school of false beliefs and limiting beliefs a school where all of the kids are taught to live within their means to never reach for anything outside of what they're familiar with to simply settle for what life has given them and as you go through this school before your evolution I want you to realize that that part inside of you didn't really know any different so all of those programs and all of those thoughts everything that you've been taught from that school of lack mentality has been taught to you by people that didn't know how to face their fears how to release their own blocks and how to truly manifest what they want so they've simply been going through the motions pretending but always knowing deep down inside that that was as good as it was going to get whatever their lot in life that is what they get and they could want to change it but deep down inside they know that nothing in this school ever changes these same thoughts and these same belief systems have been running in the background of your mind 
trying to protect you and trying to keep you safe from stepping out of that school. Because to those people in that particular school, if they leave that school, there are parts inside of themselves that believe that they're going to be hurt or wounded. So they stay in that school, stay in their construct, stay in their belief system. But you were designed for something bigger. And there's been something tugging at you, tugging at your consciousness, begging to be set free. Your genuine, authentic power of manifestation. And then one day, while you're in your room, sitting, contemplating life itself, wondering if this is all there is, you receive a message from a magic owl. And this magic owl is giving you the location of a brand new school to you. A school that speaks and talks and teaches about the powers and magic of manifestation. The school of creation. And imagine now packing up all of those bags, that one bag that you really need. And letting go of everything else that never really fit you. All of those old programs and thoughts and beliefs. All of that programming of every other muggle that will never get out of their reality of lack and limit. And imagine now stepping out of your window and beginning to fly through space and time. That magical part inside of you that has been dying to get out, now coming to the surface, taking you through space and time to this new school. The school of proper manifestation and creativity. The ability to create what you want easily and effortlessly. And at first, to most, it may seem like magic. But the reality is, this particular school teaches you how to find and reprogram all of those beliefs and thoughts that have come from that lack school, that lack training. And imagine in your first class, as the teacher begins to walk you through an exercise, of going deep into your subconscious mind and today finding one specific old memory, old program, old thought that you were taught in this old school. And as this particular memory comes into your mind, I want you to imagine it becoming real in your surroundings. That particular memory, that program, that thought, that belief, that one single moment that that got put in place. And this is where the magic comes in. I want you now to, with the power of that subconscious mind, begin to rewrite that memory, reprogram that memory so that that part of you now gets to experience abundance instead of lack and limit. Fullness instead of the feeling of need. Experiencing the authentic birthright of having everything you've ever wanted in that memory, in that moment, in your mind and experience the feeling of knowing that you deserve to achieve and receive everything you need in that moment. Everything you've ever wanted. And realize 
that once you achieve that reprogramming, that awareness is just as easy as taking a breath that is your natural birthright. And just as easy as breathing has become to you, so can these new thoughts of abundance and manifesting, manifesting out of an amazing sensation of flow instead of fear. Realizing that when you find that space and place that holds those old programs, it becomes easier and easier with practice to rewrite and rewire those programs that have been protecting you, limiting you, and blocking you from stepping out of your comfort zone. Once those pieces and parts realize that you are safe enough to step out of your comfort zone, then those very same pieces and parts inside of you can begin to show you what it feels like to fly. So experience now, in that memory that came to the surface of your mind, looking up into the sky and experiencing the sensation of lifting off of the ground and flying easy and effortless through the air, higher and higher, as high as you want to go. And feel that sensation of flying as naturally as walking can be to you, as natural as breathing, easy and effortless, and with more practice, this becomes your new natural. So imagine that feeling of flying through space and time, creating anything and everything that you want and desire in your life by rewiring and rewriting those programs that have been holding the thoughts of self-doubt, sabotage, or block coming from lack. You're no longer at that school. You get to experience the magic of being your own Harry Potter. So imagine how amazing that first class at this new school feels and realize that you can come back to this class any time that you want to rewire and rewrite another memory and imagine what your life would look like and what your ability to manifest would look like six months from then and then a year Imagine what you would be capable of in a year if you believed that you have the power to face your fears, to rewrite your doubts and your insecurities, and to step into your truth. And in that school desk, I want you to notice a very special wand for you. A wand that you get to take with you so that any time those old thoughts and beliefs from that old school and teaching comes into your mind, this wand will remind you that you have the power and the magic inside of you to transform your belief systems by going back and facing the fears, the doubts, the insecurities, and rewriting the situation in your mind to be free, full, in power, in control, valuable and worthy in every way, shape, or form. So bring that awareness now back with you, that feeling of freedom, now replacing every other thought or moment from that old school, from this moment forward, from every breath, from this moment forward. 
bring your attention back into present state, present time, back into here and now, back into this body, bring your attention again back to your breathing, and opening your eyes when you're ready.